And Alex Rozier is also at the Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge where we saw those protesters tonight. Before then, you were at DPD headquarters where you saw people taken into custody. What's the latest on your end, Alex? Yeah, Izzy, we saw people taken into custody who were inside the curfew zone for violating the curfew. They were arrested at DPD headquarters. This is a different scene here on the Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge. You're looking live right now at just a tremendous amount of law enforcement, a huge number of vehicles on this bridge right now, 50 plus easily. And as we pan down the bridge, you can still see, as you mentioned earlier, Izzy, uh, people uh, still in their silhouette cutouts, still standing on the bridge. The protesters who were protesting peacefully when they were taken into custody. I do want to speak with Dylan Rasbridge here. He was on the bridge. He was able to get off of the bridge as police uh, started making arrests. Dylan, can you tell us uh, what happened, kind of set the scene for our viewers? Yes, yeah, certainly. We began, um, we began to march from the Justice Center down Riverfront, and we uh, first encountered police when we saw a SWAT vehicle on the intersection with Woodall Rogers, and they said, do not approach the police. And the protesters did not approach the police, much less did they use any violence or throw anything towards the police. Um, then the protest began to march down the Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge, and we were blocked off by many police cars who said um, to stop marching and then they began to throw um, several, even a dozen tear gas canisters at us. And then they next announced that everyone needed to lay down on the ground and each person would be detained. But I managed to escape because I jumped over the median and I rode off on my bike going down Woodall Rogers. Dylan, what is your reaction to the police response tonight? Seeing hundreds of protesters who were protesting peacefully get arrested here in Dallas. Well, I think the use of tear gas in this case was excessive since there was no use of force against the police in this case. I even saw someone next to me be hit in the head with a canister. Um, I, uh, yeah, I think it's just too much. Dylan, thank you so much for your time. As you look live, you continue to look live at the protesters who remain um, in the presence of law enforcement tonight. As Rebecca Lopez reported, it appears that they will be released later, but there is still quite a scene happening right now, and we're going to continue to monitor it in the coming hours, guys. Uh, and I want to make a, a quick correction, um, Alex Rozier. Uh, Daryl said that uh, police had uh, deployed tear gas. According to Dallas police, that was smoke. It was not tear gas. But what are other protesters there on scene telling you has happened tonight? Well, to, to be honest with you, we have not run into uh, too many of them. There was a small group that made a pass by us and they kept moving the probably 10 to 12 protesters. Uh, but for the most part, it appears that uh, the police department ended this protest right here. And however they're going to handle it from here on out, I guess we will see. But the protest seems to have ended here and the other few that uh, did not get arrested tonight seem to have dispersed.